Hello, Texas, and welcome to the Hello, Texas podcast. This week, watch the dramatic conclusion of the Michael Mode interview where Steve and Tim air their dirty laundry. And later, Steve and Tim talk about five of their artistic inspirations. Thanks for joining us, and we hope you enjoy the conversation. Hello, Hello, Texas. Texas. Oh, we're looking over here. I was looking (laughs) at you. We're going to be looking at each other. We got a new setup today. Uh, We're at my house. Something Uh, completely different. I'm I'm kind of excited for this. I am. It's uh, everything. Every time we've done it, we've done it a little bit differently. And and, and, and it's been generally, it's kind of been like the same setup. So uh, we've gotten a little bit better at it. We've learned. So Melissa is kind of in the background walking around sort of checking. So we should have a camera pointing back at all the stuff we have up here because it's it's impressive and you know and, and we did it fairly, <coughs> it was kind of easy to sort of set up we just yeah. didn't get in a real big hurry I, I i like the setup i i hope it i hope it turns out so yeah. i'm steve peters this is tim murphy we yeah. got melissa murphy back here as our uh producer yeah. um I, director I don't, I don't really know what all the fancy words are yet but she's she's doing some stuff we are yeah can we can we do that? No. I think our okay. referee. I think Bailey in there has some pom pom somewhere. I think the direction this is going maybe a referee. <laughs> okay, um, we are learning our roles in all of this. Is that fair to say? I mean, I think that's extremely and, fair. I, and I think that we have done a poor job, and we're getting better. <laughs> our our pastor uh, started this morning off with you know kind of talking about you know sort of staying in your lane, and, and we had talked about you know that immediately. You know, the, one of the first things we you, we think about, and he this was kind of in a private thing. The first thing we think about is, you know, kind of negative. Like, what do you mean, stay in my lane? You know, and because we always take that as a polite way of minding your own business, and that's not always the case. And, uh, you know, and, and I think sometimes staying in your lane is is uh, sometimes it can be freeing because well, if if you just concentrate on the stuff that you're good at, right, and do that really really good, you know, that's that's the part. You're true yeah. to it. For so, us, for us, it's learning what that lane is. Right. So, uh, some backstory. This is episode five. <laughs> uh, episode three, we recorded Bo Bolfing, uh, and uh, we hit some bumps in the road in the editing process of that. Then uh, we discussed it during episode four, but I <laughs> I cut it. I I cut it for for mode's sake, but. In the uh, interest of uh, transparency, uh, yeah, let's play it. Let's 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 play it. Let everybody see oh, what the, the conversation was. So let, 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 let me tell. Oh man, so I'm, I'm gonna set up this a little bit more. Uh, he he said, you know, some bumps in the road. Uh, there were some strong disagreements, and and I don't know why, but I'll take responsibility of it. Okay. I, I'm the one that kind of put it out there. So I just. I, I want right. to I want to claim no. that. Yeah, we 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 went into episode four ignoring the fact that we had completely issues. ignoring it. Right, we, and we just, couldn't get away from it. It, it just it just seemed. So here, here it is. This is. Uh, yeah, let's just play it. Let, this, it speaks for itself. Oh my god! If y'all don't come back, I here it's there. There. Oh. You know what? Let me let me put this out there. This last one, <coughs> I was kind of a turd. Um, and, and I sort of dug my heel, heels in a little bit on, on some things. And, and, uh, I, I, I accused Steve of, of not trusting me, uh, to, to do what I feel like I do pretty decent. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, and that is not the truth. And that, that is me being a prima donna. We haven't, we just go right but, there. We, we'll we, go we, right haven't, we haven't talked about this. No, but, okay, but I, we're, we're going to talk about it right here, right now. Okay. Listen, when you said that, I'm like, God dang it. Uh, that's not what I wanted at all. Um, I trust you 300%. And I absolutely know that. Your, your need for, I don't want to even call it perfection. It just your need for quality. I love which, this right now. High, I love high that. production value. And, I, I have a very high and, and, and high and expectations. I mean, I, mean, I mean, look at what we have, and I and I love it. I, and it's 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 a little over the top, uh, probably. No, I, 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 I love mean, it. I, every every bit of it. But <laughs> and my need for uh, content, content, just content. That's it. Uh, there was a, a misunderstanding, I think, just with the the preview, but. But it's forced me to learn everything that you were going to do last week. I'm like, 
Okay, I waited, I waited. Oh, crap, I got to do it myself because I think he was serious when he said, I ain't going to do a damn thing this week. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so, uh, uh, and, and, all right, so here's here's where I was at with it. And, and this is one, this, this is, is one, unplanned, by the way. We, sorry, because <laughs> um, we're here. You know what? Let me begin. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> this and, is amazing. And my God. And 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 it's funny because I, I keep seeing Mike Stanley in my face because uh I I was oh man, y'all, it I'm sorry, a little I was kind of a prick to him too. And <laughs> and at one point. I was. Yeah. And 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 very much the way I wanted to deliver what I had to say to him. Uh, very much come across completely not yeah. how I expected it to, and um, and and I get so caught up in in how I how I see things sometimes I miss a completely but different picture. It's easy to do that though. And so in the midst of Hello Texas and 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 uh, I, I very much Steve Steve has you got to see you should see the spreadsheet. Man, I talked about the, the spreadsheet. One day, if I could find a computer, Look, if I could find a monitor big enough to screenshot this thing, I'll post it. The spreadsheet. Do we have an odd couple situation? The spreadsheet. Like, yeah, absolutely. So, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So, and, and I, I, just, I want you and anybody else who, the, the other three people that watch this, to, that gives a rip. Uh, <laughs> so, I, I, I very much, I had this idea of, of how I want things to be and everything, and I, I do a lot of stuff. Uh, I, I am. Um, I, I've not always been good about keeping commitments and that kind of thing. Yeah. And, and, and I have committed to this. Right. Now, when I say I've committed to this, I try to be somewhat flexible in my time during the course of a day, but I have uh, some time I have allotted that, that I have in my schedule for Hello, yeah. Texas. Yeah. And now, my schedule doesn't always fit your schedule. And then it doesn't. Yeah, and that <laughs> so there are, some, we, we there are that. some there are some things that that we we kind of acknowledge that I do pretty good. No. Uh, he handles the business side of this thing. Okay. If it never makes a dime, <laughs> <laughs> we will both continue to be broke. That's, yeah. Reminds me of a Sunny Sweeney song. Uh, but <laughs> if we make any compliment. money. <laughs> <laughs> if, if we do make any money doing this, and this does actually happen to go somewhere, and, and we've got to go have meetings with people and, and this, that, and the other, Steve is absolutely the guy. No I will go, and I will be a pretty face. Yeah. <laughs> and, do I and, get to rebut this, by the way? And, and, <laughs> but that is the guy that is talking to the people, because I know without a doubt, I can guarantee we won't make money. Yeah. <laughs> Guaranteed. I've seen the stuff I've said to him and Mike, and uh, I know. Well, that's uh, the business, and that's also the organization of this thing. You know those posts. We, those posts you see every day. If you watch along with Hello Texas, you see the posts, the artists, and everything. It's part of that spreadsheet. He's the one that's built all that. He's scheduled all this stuff. He's done all this administrative work. Right? Yeah. It's all this amazing stuff, and <coughs> all of this. It's kind of my world. That's the stuff that I, I I think I'm pretty decent at. Okay. And and I accuse him. I accuse him. I feel like no, he's I, here I, I, I not feel trusting the me. <laughs> I accuse him of not it. trusting me. I, I, it's I, like, I, dude, give me a second. And most of our yeah. conversations are through text. I love this right yeah, now because like, like, this relates is, to the music world so yeah, much. Yeah, because our like, conversation, this conversation is through text. Conversation happens most months. So we're not picking up on the emotion. Right. So ultimately, Steve's wanting to to take this thing. Remember what he said a while ago. He wants content. Right. I want content and quality. He wants, I want, so let me put it in order. I want quality and I want content. Steve wants content and he wants quality. Yeah. So he'll, he'll, yeah. he'll, he'll, he'll be okay with one. And, and I'm very much, a, I do, I like things to be just so. And, and he, for the way he looks at doing all this, the editing and all that stuff, he knows the amount of time he's going to spend doing it. So in his mind, in your mind, yeah. sorry, in your mind. Yeah, you can talk to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Sorry. You've been I know, a buffer man. long enough. I've been a bass player in bands oh, forever, man. I'm, I'm, you I'm, tell Tim. You yeah. tell Steve. 
And I'm done. That's that's when I, I go. That's when him. I go upstairs. And I just I don't was tell talking him to him, but I'm not talking to him. Yeah. So, so, so in your mind, I you're going. Time, you're going to. Into the time. Yeah, that. So, and, so and Jim said. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Man, I, I've never so, felt okay. more like a wine yeah. girl. In your mind, you're going. Oh my God! To do all of this, you're going to spend so much time. And and, and here's where he comes at me from love. This is this is where this right. is where he is. I agree with this where he is my brother. And, and yeah, it's important in this kind of uh, and, and, and very situation. much for him. He's done all this work and he wants me to be a part of it so much. And and he in his mind, the way he understands the production and putting all these things together is extremely time consuming. Mm -hmm. And in his mind, I don't have time for that. Because I am making movies, yeah. because I am, you know, uh, doing some some uh, service work. I am doing a bunch of stuff at church because I am running a full time photography business. I'm doing all that stuff, and he doesn't want me to be overwhelmed with doing all this. Yeah, we can get this out in a week. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, so you know, I already see. I already see but dynamic. at the same time, but at the same time, I'm going to say, yeah, we can get this out in a week, but. You're the one that told me. You're the one that convinced me. We set our own time frame. And we set our right. own schedule. Now but, I also but the understand. It says a week, Tim. I know that. I love this. And, and so I much rather, right now. I rather, I rather, I rather you go. Hey, where's okay. that? Okay, here's my rebuttal. So, here's my rebuttal. Because uh, ba batteries just... are going to die soon. <laughs> Um, here's my rebuttal. Is, this yes. one's only going to be three hours long. I don't know how important long. this is for no, this dynamic. I'm, I'm, like, I'm, no, no, no. I'm it really to have this conversation. It's important for because, what you're trying to do. Because I'll like, text really something is. and I'll wait for like two hours. I'm like, well, I guess. So, uh, yes, I, in October when the concert season started, I realized we're just didn't have time for Hello Texas. Bloody, and it yeah. was a sad thing. That, for both of cause, us. Because really all Hello Texas is is you and I having fun. Having fun. Any excuse that we can come and then bring in you here. I mean, this this is or anybody. This is, yeah. Even if you would not we'd still have a good time. Yeah, yeah. Everybody watching should be envious because this is as fun as it looks. <laughs> it really is. It um, truly is. <coughs> excuse me. I'm just so, I'm just so, feeling yes. really bad. So and from, I know this is so, coming. No, no, that's fine. I don't, and that's not the point. <laughs> from October until December first, I have ideas galore. Of what? How can we save this? How can we do this right? right? What what is it that we're good at? What is it we're not good at? Um, came up with the idea of you and I have thousands of photos that nobody's ever seen. That's where artist of the day is. We yeah. know people backstage, side stage. That's where talking to to our favorite players comes in. That's you know, that, that goes all the way from the bass players to Dan wanna, Murphy yeah, yeah, to the photographer. I wanna, I wanna to talk to the merch guys. I mean, I, yeah, I, all that all, kind of stuff. All of yeah. So, so I came up with that idea. I'm like, okay, well, this will work, and we can make the technology work for us, so it's not time consuming. I do that thing called the five, which has really kind of disappeared into this. Uh, but, and then, and then I came up with the idea to give you, you're already doing last lap and I, and my wife loves it. And I'm realizing people but, love watching you, that inspiration stuff. That, so. so, so it's due like tomorrow, uh, by the way, I'm just kidding. Well, Tim talk, <laughs> right. Tim talk is whenever I get it done. And, I know. And, the last I know. Lap. And, and, and it's your box. I know. Look, I, I fail on that too. It's your box. I know. But, um, the podcast, I'm sucking right now the is what podcast we're we decided yeah. to do one a month. Just the first right. day of the month, we'll do it. Had so much fun doing it the first one that we said, let's do it again. Just, just keep the second it. one. And the first one was horrible. <laughs> no, it wasn't horrible. It was great. It, it, this is crazy because it sounds like I'm talking to two people that have just like started a band. You know yeah. what I mean? Like it, it, it's the same, play, so. same conversation. <laughs> but like honestly, man, like this this can't you just play it according to the chord so, progression? It's a conflict so. of interest, and it is one of the most important things in like anything creative. Yeah, it's like you oh, have yeah. to have creative well, difference. And, and, like, and honestly, when when you texted me, you don't trust me. You could be spending time doing this while I color grade, and I'm like, oh, you didn't want me to. That's when I realized you didn't want me to do that, to post that. Um, and I'm like, I, not yet. I, I asked twice, but but and that I was, missed it. Yeah. This is amazing, dude. This is like watching a band. I, I am not but, kidding. But, but anybody felt, that's ever been in a band I, I, and has had differences, like especially if you say something that you didn't mean that certain way. 
Yeah. Dude, this happens weekly with most bands. Right. Yeah. So, and, and honestly, we, we, we've had fights before. Yeah, and, it's, and, it's, no, it's only natural. Uh, let me, let me tell you the natural. story. Okay. One time you told me something about, you know what, I quit. You were talking about something totally different than what I was thinking of. And I gave you a 30-page thing about you can't quit because I don't accept your resignation because we're <laughs> friends. I, you just do what you got to do. Was, and, and I was <laughs> about something completely different. And you were talking about quitting something else. I'm not quitting you. I'm like, oh, haha, never mind. So, uh, I, felt, I felt so silly because, but I love this so man, much. I'm dramatic sometimes. That sounds like oh uh, my I'm, gosh, I'm, a, I'm an artist, right? And I get that, and 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 <laughs> oh my God. and you can cuss me out, and I'm probably going to laugh about it eventually. I was, yes, I was, but I I let it sit from I guess Wednesday until Friday, and I told my wife. Um, make coffee because I'm staying up all night because I don't think Tim's uh, touched this. He said he wasn't, and I thought maybe <laughs> something would change. So I ended up doing uh, the best I, I could. I'm usually and- pretty <laughs> stout on my word. That's been to my de- that, and that has been to my the, demise. The, oh, I want to oh, say that. No, so. and that Chase Francis would probably relate but, to you a little bit but, on that one. But uh, but honestly, <sighs> it forced me to learn as much as I could. Uh, all the video editing stuff and all that stuff in well, we are growing 72 together, man. sleepless hours to do it. It's, it's <laughs> an interesting thing. Feel. That's, that's no, no, really what no, no, such... My answer of it's good enough, I know drives you crazy. But Ooh, no, no, no. But, that's but a here's tough the thing. one, it, though. Here's the thing. That's me, that's me trying to take off the pressure of it's good enough because yeah. we can't change it. I know how you mean it. So, I know how you mean it for so sure. There, there, there's little technical things that you're like, oh man, I screwed that up. I mean, we went seven minutes last week before I pushed the record button. I'll tell you what, this is this is one of my main things, and I, I forget the engineer's name, but I can I have tons, tons and tons of useless facts about Jimi Hendrix. He's one of my main influences, one of my favorite artists of all time. Um when that producer, his main one that like is on all the documentaries, all that stuff, he was the first producer to come in and tell him no. He was the first producer to come in and say, no, it's good enough. Stop. And that changed everything for Jimmy because he was taking like upwards of four to five, even close to six months to get like one track done. And, and I, I very much understand because that. It, it, because, and this is a great trait that, will bounce to him as well. It's like, it's, I hate saying the cliche, it's your baby. Like, I I hate that cliche, but but like, it's something, but it's something that you are putting, you you know, you're hanging my name on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're putting your soul into it. You're putting work into it. And and and, and I don't want to hang our name on it. And I'm just approach it differently. We we very much do. And it's one for for me, it's for me, I know how much administrative side work he's done. He does. I know how much of everything yeah. else he's constructed to put it together. For me, it feels like, hey, I don't really contribute a whole lot to this thing. Let me do this. Yeah. Let, let yeah. I'm good at this and and I'm only going to get better. And as much as I want it, I want to do it for him and I want to do it for right. us. I want to do it for me because that's going yeah. to help. And it, that's most, and, it's going to help for me that's become most a better no. editor. Yeah, yeah. It's going to help me become a better cinematographer. Yeah. It's going to, it's going to, I'm, I'm working on doing some interview stuff with a couple other projects. Yeah. It's going to make me better for that. And, uh, and you ain't taking and, that from and, me. And, well, <laughs> for me, it's, it's Wednesday. <laughs> We haven't started anything really. We haven't. We don't have anything. I know well, you have, but I. The, and, and, and I'll tell you. And tell you why on a couple on a couple because because it was really important for, for me to make sure you had all the video clips as well and the time spent kind of uploading, transfer, and all that was time I could have spent editing. I'd like. Well, I want to go about this week kind of approach a little bit different. I'm just going to back off in, until you give me the stuff. Let's, <laughs> let's get on with that. Let's. So there it is, everybody. Uh, there's kind of our ooh, drama. It's it, uh, it's about no more therapy for me this no, week. No, no. It's oh literally about. God. It's literally about because the, those people like those having those differences. Yeah. Like I will tell every young player ever that are starting a band, anything like that. Those differences are super super important. Without a doubt. Because like you're gonna cover up his faults. He's going to cover I, up. I, and listen, and, and at the same time, I am absolutely happy anything that, that we, we don't look good on or whatever. It, it doesn't matter to me if yeah. he did it or I look, did it. We did look, it. You're going to say some things sometimes. We, 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 have, we have gone up in flames several times. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I won't even mention July 4th, 3rd, 3rd, July 3rd. 
went up in flames. I'm still proud of it that we went up in flames. We did it together. So the, our first it and second one. It was one of the greatest. It was, it was probably the second greatest failure I've ever experienced in my life. And I can tell you without a doubt, I'm a better because, a lot of things from it. Because we'll go it's back and part. look at episode, episode one. I still listen to it, and I'm still proud of it. This is so much more. Every, every, time, every time we do this, man. <coughs> It becomes exponentially greater than the last time. Right. My expectations but, for this are absolutely zero there, until I see it in the time. There's going to become yeah. a time that our ex our our quality level doesn't go up; it goes down. A, a mistake or something that I don't push or it's going to happen. Right. So, it's so me saying it's <laughs> yeah. it's good enough. We'll go with what we got. It's just taking the pressure off. I just I don't want this to be. Pressure. It's going to be across. I know, but um, <laughs> I love it because I, I know where both of you are coming from, and it's in, it's kind of insane to me because y'all sound like musicians right and, now. And, 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 you know, and, and, and I told, like, I told you earlier. It's insane to me because and, and like, this funny. is the recording process. We, we like never, yeah. we never want to be because because we are photographers, and we are photographers of people that we genuinely care about. We and, and and we we hold musicians in such a high regard. We never want to find ourselves in a situation where we're going well. We're like you, and and, and we won't. We don't. No, we don't, don't ever do that. <laughs> but we both know, and we've addressed this. We both know that the similarities between us and the musicians that, that, that we're shooting it's art. Are, are very very similar, right. especially yeah. for us for the, the partnership that, that we have. And, uh, and and we've accepted that we're artists. So we're so, about to run out of batteries. So, yeah. we're, so, we're, so, we're on yeah. so let's go ahead and wrap this thing up. Real quick. Yeah. I, to I told you. Um, <laughs> oh, you know, I, 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 Look, I could watch that a gazillion times. Right. And I feel like just the biggest, I, I don't know, either I, cry I, I, baby or. Well, no, no, no. First, I want to say thank you to Michael Mode for sitting in between us. Yeah. And Man, that was Mode. It, it was. It, was <laughs> it made it easier. It really. was so unplanned. And. Uh, so therapeutic, I think, for both of us to get it out with with witnesses, so we weren't just just you and I over text and phone. Yeah, uh, and it, I did, and I didn't mind it. I I liked that we were talking about it out. In the oh, open. during during that time, I was great with it. Right. It was like you know what, this is good. I, I wanted you to know, right? And I wanted you to know. I, yeah. I, and 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 when it comes down to it, you could you could. I almost said slap my wife, but don't slap my wife. I, I, I'd never do that. I know, but but you could cuss me out all that, and I'm gonna. I won't say blow it off because it 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 needs it, some attention, right? And 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 uh, vice versa is that I I I don't want to ever make you feel like like I'm undercutting you or yeah. or pushing you and that wasn't and, even the case and, and that wasn't even the case there there so and i think what the issue was uh for me is is uh, a difference between artistic part of it and management part of it sure and yeah, I, yeah. I i i come from a management background where i'm managing the situation and if uh and, and pushing is part of that and and, and you and you and did that have, and you did that part really really well, good. And I may have overstepped my bounds and did stuff without giving getting you uh, to say, "Hey, why don't we not publish that?" Because uh, that's crap. Uh, it wasn't, but uh, <coughs> we could have done better. And I rushed yeah. it, and and that that was on me. And I apologize. And um, and but. I think through that, uh, we've learned our roles a little. I've learned my role a little bit better. Man, and and I feel a lot better about kind of having a, a better understanding, I think. And I know this past – I don't know how this is going to, you know, relate to time, but I know over the past week um, it, it's been it, – it seems like it's been my part. It, you know, we discussed you know, my, this week's been – it's kind of baby's been my, in my care. And it's been sort of freeing knowing, all right, well, I'm, I'm going to get this part knocked out. Then I hand that off to Steve. And then, because I very much, this post-editing process, it, I trust that to you wholeheartedly. It, even even if there's a part of me that goes, yeah, but. Right. And, I, and, and, and I'm squishing that. I think vice versa. But, 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 but I'm also kind of relieved a little bit. Now it's in your hands. I did my part. Now it's yours. And and I, man, I tell you what, for this week, I finally feel like I'm sort of pulling my load a little bit. <laughs> and 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 to for transparency, 
we were filming this before we have released Michael's it, uh, um, episode. So, yeah. and this is going to come out a couple weeks after Michael's after episode. So we're trying, and, and it's and it's kind of doing a little bit extra work, but it's some right. good good planning. And I think pacing ourselves out right. a little bit. And I think we'll be instead good. of a week turnaround, we're doing a two week turnaround. Basically. Yeah, and, and so, still kind of moving along. So for both of us, we're doing back to back weeks, but at the end of it, we'll each have uh, every other week. It'd we be kind of alternate. Do. We'll be doing so, something. So but that's kind of, that's kind of some of the, the stuff that come out of it, you know. And uh, it, regardless of how goofy I, I think I look, you know, kind of coming across, and it's like, man, I can't believe we're airing our dirty laundry out. <laughs> And I, and I cut there it. There was a lot of good that came. <coughs> I'm interested in seeing how it gets cut out. Cut up. I, I cut it out of uh, episode four, and it was at the end of a long conversation with Michael. And the, the conversation with Mode was so great. I just didn't want it to take away from that. No, um, I, and I, I appreciate that. And he was such a trooper, and he was actually so um, late. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't late. Was he was. Yeah, he was late. He was supposed to be somewhere else. Oh, we made him late. So we the next, yeah, 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 he, yeah, he was supposed to be at dinner or something, and we just sat there and talked and yeah. didn't even know about it. Yeah. But during the conversation, he was so uh, happy, I guess is the best word, that what you and I were talking about is what the same thing bands talk about. Uh, it's artists trying to figure out how to mesh art and... And be managed, kind of. Right. And, and that's very much, I, I, right. man, I, yeah, I guess because... Artists you know, and, and we we joked about the whole I'm an artist kind of stuff and, and right. Uh, but I, I guess there really is there, there's a part of that we we see come forth that you know there's something we we see in this whole industry. You know, we, we see a guy who who's got this beautiful art, and 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 we we get mad at the businessman who's trying to hold him down. Right, and and that's just not the case, and we know that's not the case. They just they haven't found that that place to be able to communicate with one another in a way to to get just maximum. Um, oh, I don't know what was what's the word. Leave me hanging. Sam, we got this. I, been productivity. I don't leave you hanging. I just don't no, know what word you're productivity. For. I thought everybody knew. Everybody <laughs> so anyway, I, I think that was. Uh, I think that was. If there was so many, if there was any good to come out of that. Uh, I, I think it really was, and and in all transparency, it. it, it we really are really, really good friends. And, and it just proves that people can have a difference, not agree about something. Right. And and still be able to uh, come out the other end of it without just going, oh, if, I ain't unfriended. I'm unfriending you on Facebook. We ain't doing it. Right. No. If you want to get rid of me, you're going to have to burn it down. Yeah, you, know, you, you can't just you set gotta, it on fire. You got to stoke the flames you, you for a while. You're going to have to try a little harder to, than that. So we, I feel like we got to, we're, we're right. pretty good ways away. And, from and I, think it, I think it was healthy to, Go through that. I didn't enjoy it. I don't. You didn't enjoy it. Man, let me. We, we went through a difficult, difficult week of hurt feelings and, yeah. uh, and loneliness and, and all that kind of stuff. But and, and I tell you, it didn't really end there because whenever I, I was going back and I was doing, you know, the initial edits, doing the camera edits, you know, it, and it said we've kind of learned our edit process. So going back through it, I, I got started on it, and I told Melissa, I said, I, "This is tough. I don't, I don't know if I can do this." And she said, "What is it?" I said, "You know, I." I I kind of watch this a lot of times and, and I see kind of how my conversations go. And, and I'm, and whenever I watch this, I, I, I hold on now. I, I watch these things kind of not from my viewpoint, but say yours or some, or from a, a listener's viewpoint or something, you know, and, and how that affects me. That sounds really kind of crazy psycho babble, but I don't know any other way to explain it. So I'm, I'm hearing me from the standpoint of somebody else and hey my god he's a jerk you know uh, well I, <laughs> maybe so and uh here, this is me being hard on it but but it's it, it, here's what it did though and, and i know immediately you, you want to be sympathetic in it by me watching that and going back through that the pain of that made me realize some things that that i don't ever want to be on that end of that again and so it, there, there's some good stuff i think come out of it because that, that's some of that is seeing yourself on camera for the first. We're not we're not pros yeah. at this at all. No, but but seeing that and and, and it just and, and going back through and hearing the conversation as very real as it was and everything. It, it See, made me realize on, some things. On the other side so. of that, you edited me staring at Mode like I was going to kill him when he got up. I mean, and it was just me listening, and I'm like, what is that look on my face? Holy, I'm like. And it, it's it's creeping me out. I was I'm like, helping. Get, I was helping Jamie Lynn Wilson out. 
<laughs> I wanted her to see what creepy stalker uh, face looked don't, like. Don't ruin my sweet, my sweet <laughs> mental relationship there. Oh I, I, I just adore Jamie Lynn Wilson, and I apologize for even bringing it up. Oh, I adore man. a lot of people, but uh, she's one that I haven't seen on stage in three or four years. Yeah. So I will take care of that um, this, this year. year. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're um, gonna let her know I'm coming. <laughs> So, yeah. So, so so there's our laundry. So that there's our dirty laundry. Um it, it it I'd be interested in, you know, just just off of man, I don't know if I want to start this one up or not, but I'd be interested in 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 you know the the, the couple of people that do listen to this or whatever, it, you know, what kind of comments just based on yeah, you know, the, what you this, just seen. I, I'd would, be interested in, you know, what where are you at on it? You know, Tim's an asshole. Steve's an asshole. Either way, we 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 are. Yes, thumbs up on the yes. assholes. Uh, <laughs> but it, it is what it is. But you know, uh, we interested in, in in some thoughts for sure. Yeah, um, this is a good one for viewer feedback. We don't we don't have a guest today. We did this on purpose. We needed to decompress a little bit. We needed to talk about state of the union type stuff. Yeah, and, and we needed to kind of get we needed to get number five in the bag to kind of get ready for the full. Right. Cycle. Yeah. And we're testing out the new setup and can we do it and just kind of minimum with what we got. Right. Sure. So, so, all right. Well, with that, um, I'm, we're, we're going to take a break and, uh, take a hold on. We'll be right back. We'll take a break. A little bit more. Hello, Texas. And we're back. Hello, hey. Texas. What's up, girl? So let's talk a little State of the Union about how the website and Hello, Texas is doing overall. We're on, this is episode five of the uh, I can't believe we made it this far. Yeah, they say the life of a podcast is seven episodes. So Really? Is that, I, is that true? That if we can make it to eight, I figure we're a success. So with the way all this is going, man, it's going to, it'd have to take a pretty hard nosedive to not make seven. Yeah. I mean, things are going to start happening. We're starting to get busy doing other things this summer, but I think we've worked a system now that we I think we're can, going the right direction. Right. Um, so tell me about the website. The, we've gotten uh, a, a whole lot more views per day. Uh, we average, you know, 30, 40 likes per, um, what did we determine? Single moms love Hello Texas. <laughs> Not single moms, just moms in general oh, love Hello Texas. Sorry. No, was it single moms, to, married moms, widowed moms? We, just we don't moms. discriminate moms at all. We like moms a lot. Look, look one of, one of our, uh, focuses is to give, uh, some attention to the players that stand in the shadows and play behind these big stars on the stage. Yeah. Uh, there are, uh, Husbands and wives and sisters and brothers and dads and moms who are excited when their kids that are up on stage playing get some of that attention. And That's uh, cool. we went through a string of three or four in a week that all the moms contacted me and said, thank you for uh, for showcasing our, our son, which I'm happy to do. Absolutely. Um, this week we did uh, Dalton Hayes with the Hooser Brothers. Yeah. Uh, who's getting married soon. Um, I'm shooting. I'm shooting that wedding. I'm I'm grateful to be shooting that wedding. Yeah. So we we've, we've uh we've had that. Uh, you've got a, a Tim talks coming out soon. Man, I, I I tell you, it's uh it's it's one that uh it, it's a little uncomfortable for me more than anything. And, and and I know I've told you about it. I've actually I've started it, and it just sort of stopped. But it's um without it becoming preachy or you know getting like overly into your religious space or whatever but it, right. it it's uh it, it's it, it'll probably go that way a little bit just a little heads up and you not try to run anybody off and that make that may be released before this podcast comes maybe out. it may be but we yeah we're not putting any pressure on us anymore, just so. just just no chances are if i'm doing a tim talk it's probably making me uncomfortable in some way and that's that's all the more reason for me to just go towards it and do it. Right. And I hope everybody, I enjoy the heck out of them. Um, Thank you. So I hope everybody uh, tunes into that. And I'm still, you know, jerking around trying to do fives. And really my thing with the fives, we're doing 
during the podcast. It, Every it, time I have an idea for one, conversation, and I really enjoyed the conversation. I've, I've loved how the, the five has. Um, we've learned a lot of stuff from the, the last two episodes. Uh, there's been some insight that I don't think anybody else would learn from Bo and Michael and I hope so. And, and you and I, I think we've uh, touched on things that, yeah. And uh, so we kind of, in, in kind of ingrained some things. I think we already yeah. sort of knew about each other and, and the styles of music we kind of like, yeah. but it's kind of hearing some of that from people like Michael Mode and uh, he knows a ton of information and and like he's a fan he's a fan there more it is than right there and and I, and I, him and Bo both and 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 that's one of the things i really enjoyed with both of them is, is the in, how in de- deep they go and um i enjoyed that and, yeah. and both of them seem really calm and relaxed and i, I like that too yeah i think the five kind of helps spark it yeah so with that being said you want to do a five? Let's do it. All right. You and I talked a little about earlier today, and I think we—I think I've got it down. We were talking about our artistic influences. Yeah. We're gonna do our five current artistic influences. Yeah, just 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 uh, <coughs> people or something that inspires us in, in a few different little categories. Uh, right. The categories is a little bit different this week. Instead of just rattling off five, we're gonna divide it up into five categories. So. Yeah, um, we're gonna do music, and, and not five from each thing. Just one right. from There's each one, thing. One so, music, yeah. Uh, photography, yeah. Film, social media, or podcast, because that's what our focus has been this last two months. Yeah. And then we'll do a wild card. So if we decide to throw something, just in at the something, end. and it could be any one of the other <coughs> things or, or something, just whatever moves us. Right. Yeah. So let's start with music. You are my guest at at Casa de Steve. Hey, Casa de Steve, uh, man. You, um, so let's start with music. Melissa and I have got to take notes on, on how to entertain guests. You always do a really good job. The wings, uh, I, the wings were phenomenal. I, I made, I, I grilled uh, good. chicken like, wings like on the wipe grill. Those things out. And I look. Uh, no, this isn't part of the list, but I've got a friend named Alton uh, Matthews uh, that does uh, dog father uh, barbecue. Okay. He's got a he's got a YouTube channel. Dude can cook. Really? Yeah. Um, and he learned he he's learned so much so quick that he's beca- he went from starting a YouTube channel to he hangs out with a lot of YouTube stars now. He's in Austin, and it's just a matter of time before he has his own barbecue place. And it's funny kind of how that sort of happens. And he's so good at doing the YouTube channel, and he he's so consistent of making videos and doing he goes to barbecue places and gets to meet these guys and he gives them over to his house and or he goes to their house and they all cook together and uh kind of what we're doing except with the barbecue and he's quite honestly better at it he he knows he he's got a system down and he he send me a link yeah, or something i will i will yeah, down in the comments just look right up here or somewhere here, yeah, is there down a, here i don't I know i can put a card on down, there so. i don't i don't remember which way we're framed anyway music so um i was a little embarrassed of this earlier it's just sort of a little bit of my idea and and it just kind of hit me I, I was like man what have i been listening to recently that's just been inspiring me and it's and it wasn't any one thing so it just you said just look at spotify I'm like, oh yeah duh and so uh, I've, I've looked, and, and believe it or not, it's actually a playlist, and it's a kind of a Spotify playlist, and it's um, 90s rock anthems. <laughs> so, uh, and, and 90s probably a little bit after my time. I'm probably more uh, the 2000s or a little bit of the 80s, but there, I like the 90s. There's something that you may not know about Spotify. You probably do, but I've got you listed as a friend on Spotify. And I can see what you're listening to or what you listen to last at any given time. And there's a lot of it. It's probably like the Freedom Playlist or yeah. the Gritty Worship Playlist. Yeah, but but I've watched it. you watch, listen to the 90s. And yeah, the past couple of weeks has been 90s rock anthems. That is, I don't know why it's just been that kind of week. And every once in a while, I'll click on it and I'll I'll follow along with what you're listening to. And it's inspiring to me sometimes. You know, I well. do that with, with people every now and then too. Yeah. That, that's funny. So I've got four or five friends on there that uh, if you if you want to friend us on uh, Spotify, I'm happy to to listen to what you listen to. I've got a friend that sends me um, sends me playlists quite often. And, I need to uh, get the vibe of Tim updated a little bit. Yeah, that would, note to, note to myself: update the vibe of Tim. La, last year, Tim and I did the vibe of Steve and the vibe of Tim, uh, which was like our hundred 
Ish. 100 songs that kind of told who we were. Uh, I thought that was pretty fun. I, 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 I think we need. I think we need to update that. Every I don't know if while. anybody listened to it, but it was. There actually was a few. I had some were church they? people who said, "Listen to the church, the Bible, Tim." <laughs> so, well, the reason I laugh is because I know what your vibe of Tim was last year. Yeah, it, that really hasn't changed. You, you, I am a fan of Too Short. <laughs> if, if anybody's um, and I like Snoop Dogg. I like a lot of the West Coast, uh, kind of especially that era, very much so, kind of the uh, fat beats. The problem with me with that is my taste change per day. So I have a lot of stuff that I... It's called a mood. Yeah. And <laughs> and I was a heavy metal kid. And then... So let's go Let's go to mine. Um, Happier Alone by Austin Me just came out and blew me away. It was really good. Last year, Austin Me came out with Waves, which was one of my favorite albums of 2019. Um, I got to listen to it driving to San Antonio at four in the morning, uh, which is a perfect way. Driving down 35 with no traffic, listening to new music is my yeah. favorite thing to do. So I was so connected to that album. I know Austin enough to know that his early albums, as great as they are, and they are great, He's almost embarrassed because he's better now, and he doesn't. He he wants to do better each time. So and he does, and he does. He, he's so much better, but doesn't mean that that. Uh, but but what you did before always right. just kind of is there, right? And so and whenever you were progressively. And so if you I listen, if you listen to Waves, you're going to be blown away. There's there's at least six songs on there that I would it's call really hits. Good. I mean, everything's a hit, but there's six songs that stand out to me. Um, if happier alone is any indication, it's, it's better. And I, and I don't know that there was anything better than waves last year. So that one release made me go back and listen to waves again. And I'm just, I'm just thrilled for his potential. Yep. And when we talk inspiration, that drive to be better each time out, what we're doing now, what we do at, what I do at work, what I do at home, I'm just trying to be better each day. And that's, he's that a great of example of that, of actually seeing that happen. Right. And that's, he does it the right really way. Good. He, he's not, he's not a jerk. That's, no, that's, and that's, he's that's not. That's important. And it's, yeah, it he's is a really, important. He's a really good guy. He's kind of in the people business. That's, right. That was a really good one yeah. with, with a lot of really good reasoning behind yeah. it. I, 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 look, I'm such a fan of the music and when you can tie personality, music, and and all that quality together, um, I get excited about it. So, all right, let's go to photography. Sorry. Um, you just recently done a thing with uh, Danny Bibby, and, mm-hmm. and, um, and, and I like Danny. He was really, really well. Featured artist of the day. Danny's one of my favorite art- he, photographers. Man, he, um, the, sh- the sharpness, um, I think just the color always being Co- correct. Color and, and perspective. Man, and, and, and yeah, his composition is always just seems to be perfect. Always, just always is. And and I like that. And he's a, a friend and a nice guy. And I'm going to talk about everything else. So he, he actually turned me on to a guy, and I hope I say his last name right, uh, Rodney Bursell. Um, Rodney Bursell is, is the first stuff I ever seen of him. He had done some underwater photos of like a crocodile. And uh, he's got some stuff uh, of some blue whales out there for National Geographic. And uh, he just come back from Africa and just, you know, some of the, the photos from, from the people in, in the villages uh, all the way back to all the way to the elephants. And, and just he has goals. He, he's somebody who I'd never and I know he would never want this, but he's just I don't think he's that person. But he's somebody I'd put my camera away. And I just spend my time looking at his work. It just and and, and, and you I, don't and you don't always do that. No, you don't always look at other other photographers. I, I do. I do not. I, I spend very little time looking at what other people do because I never want to be influenced by what they do. I want what I do to be enough of my own. And um, and but somebody like him, I just I admire the work so much. So that's my guy. Cool. I'm. This is dangerous because I have so many photographers that inspire me. Anybody that was at Mile O or Mile Zero Fest, yeah, uh, Coolidge, uh, 
Look, look, I don't want to drop. Photographer. I don't want to drop names because I'm going to leave somebody out, and I'm inspired by all of them. All I have, I have links to 300 photographers that I could list right here. Yeah, and we're all doing about the same thing, which is shooting shows. The same, and I get inspired when I see I've shot this person ten times, and I see a photo. I'm like, it's better than anything I've ever tried to accomplish. Um, just those moments. That, yeah, that you don't even that that. Photography it looks like luck, but it's actually being prepared and setting yourself up to be in the right time at, at the right place at the right time. Yeah, there's one guy that does something a little bit different on social media that I I either laugh at or uh, inspired by, and that's Rock Williams. Um, yeah, his cinemagraphs are always phenomenal. Uh, you know, I want I want to I want to learn to do them. I want to get the stuff and learn to do them. But I'd just be ripping him off. I mean, because he's, he, he he's does so it so good. good. And and yeah. I think I think everybody else around. I think everybody else around. Almost, I think there's other people that can do that. I think a few other people have done it, but we don't do it because we all know that is so much a rock. Williams. anybody? I don't know if there's a circle or not, but anybody that knows that is Rock Williams. Right. And and, and listen, I'm okay with, with if somebody ever accused me of being a Rock Williams intimid, uh, imitator. Right. I'd be okay with that. <laughs> uh, but but it, but it is so much when whenever we, we talk about so much of somebody finding, um, I don't want to say a niche, but finding something that is yours and you put your name on it. That guy right there did that. Right. And uh, and and I, I think he, he should. I think band should just be blowing his doors down to do one for him the best compliment i've ever gotten as a photographer is i saw a photo online and i knew it was yours yeah and, and it, in a positive way sometimes people look at my photos and go, so imagine with him anytime you see one of those you <laughs> I, know I know it's it rock his. i i don't have to look for a, a, a watermark i know that in, rock probably in did addition it. to that he's got a style he's got a look he's got whatever that is and that that's his signature and then you add the cinema graph on top of it right yeah i could see how and and and, and, and even more than that you he, got one he's just a, a super nice guy he is a very genuine look here here's nice here's the uh <laughs> the link to everything so far is he's a friend and a nice guy he without a doubt is. he's genuine he, he look i we i have not i know y'all have at backyard i've not had the pleasure of meeting him and hanging out with him but I'm looking forward to the time we cross paths because and, and I did not. I just and, and I'll, I just tell you, I, I I hate to say this, I did not take full advantage of the time of having him there because I was sort of in work mode, right? And and I, that I get that one of those things that just drives me nuts. I, I want to turn work mode off sometimes, and I can't always do that. Yeah, I I, so, I, I get that, and, and I, 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 I kind of regret during a that. show and Cause, but, because he's one of those people. I, I'd love for there not to be a show and just. Yeah. I, I can't wait till he's the oh. guy in the chair because, because well yeah because, so there's yeah. that yeah um let's go to film all right so uh, one one of the yeah. things that you've been focused on a good the last, bit here recently yeah, yeah you've you've really excelled at becoming a cinematographer and uh, yeah. man I, I i want to be really really good at it i uh i think you are I, I found out that killing people is a lot of fun. <laughs> Look, I saw the rough cut. It was fun to watch that because I know some of the players in the movie that you shot. Yeah. And that those two are, are, a, are a character and they're part of a series. And, and I, I thought so. Yeah. And, and it, it's really, really cool because kind of getting to sort of film uh, a series of those and, and, we very much we know what all the mistakes are. We know what all the little things are, and uh, the beautiful thing about that is, is it's very much a this is a very ballsy learning process. So we'll link it to Hello Texas once it comes out. Yeah, once I won't it comes talk, out, we'll talk too much about it. No, but no, no. but but it, it's it, it's it's the process of it, and, right. and so and being in the middle of that, I, I man, I'm late to a lot of parties. So to me, what working with 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 an actual director and trying to understand how those relationships work and um and and so the the greatest uh director slash cinematographer that that i can think of and know of is quentin tarantino there's a great great interview um by a guy named um richard rodriguez i think mm -hmm. 
Rodriguez is a director as well, right? Yeah, he did absolutely. Grindhouse, I think. Yeah, I, okay. think, I think so. Yeah, there's a, another person I'm, I'm want to learn how to dig dig deeper into. They was kind of watching something, and, and Tarantino was just sort of walking around, and and he's just kind of talking these ideas out. Um, Rodriguez is like, why aren't y'all write, why, why aren't y'all writing all this down? And everybody writing this down? Is, no, why? He's just talking these ideas out. No, he's telling you what's going to be done. He's telling you because <laughs> because what's going to happen in four months from now. Whenever this actually comes out, nobody's going to know why he's ticked off because it's not this way. Because he told you four months ago and you chose not to write it down. And he was just talking his ideas out. And I realized how much I talk my ideas out. And and you poor suckers, whenever I'm just talking them out, I'm in my head it was one way. In a way, y'all had this it's a completely different thing. And so it's kind of learning how those two places communicate with each other and um so the director i'm working with now uh, russell clay i'm hoping to kind of learn how to better see what he has in his head because they're kind of relying on me to set up that shot and i think in some of the places in in that i think i did a really really good job and there's other places that um i, I got two steps up my game homie is what i I'm didn't saying. i didn't notice the step up the game part and, and i just you know him because he very much sees it from from a director's standpoint, a writer's standpoint, an actor's standpoint, and the director photography sense standpoint. Been who I've sort of been focusing on, watching some of the movies and the interviews, kind of understanding that that way of thinking. For for me, Tarantino is dialogue, storytelling, and unique cinematography. Oh, absolutely, and 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 just I love the way he. It's so over the top. It's not real. I don't. I don't like the realness of Hollywood, so to speak. But I like it whenever it's kind of over the top, really, really dramatic, and it's hilarious if you can see the humor in it. And, and I think because my humor is not always everybody else's humor. The dark stuff is is funny, too. Sometimes it is. He's, he excels at the dark humor stuff. And I kind of like it. Well, this is something that, uh, that I wouldn't normally have a, a strong opinion on, but I just saw a film a couple of weeks ago. Sam Mendes was the director. I watched 1917. That must so be really good. It's a war movie of World War I. I. I have a low attention span with a lot of movies that I kind of drifted in out, but it was riveting from the first scene, and the reason why it was largely shot in, it looked like one take. Yeah, The I camera love followed, take. at least for the first 20, a lot of first person. The first 25 minutes follow these two characters from a tree to the general to out to the front lines across enemy territory. I mean, and, and every part was was like, how did they how did they get the camera to do that? Like all of a sudden the camera floats over a lake. And I'm like, wait, if somebody's holding how how did they do that? A lot of and, really get nasty. And then there's right. <laughs> I was so involved in figuring it out. I was like, okay, there's where they they took a cut. They went behind a rock, and and I and I started I to those, yeah. figuring out. But it's a war movie, so there were some grotesque scenes, and especially in the grotesque scenes, it was so beautifully shot that there's a big contradiction of what you're seeing is bombs going off and body parts flying, yeah. and the grandeur of it. And it it was such a great, it was a simple story, beautifully told, beautifully shot. Um, the music was everything about it made me inspired that's, to see that's, music. That's again. the power of a lens. A lot of times you can so, set the whole stage. That sounds it, pretty, I, I want to see it now. I super enjoyed it. All right, let's move on. Um, yeah. Let's go to I will call it social media in our current atmosphere of learning how to do podcast. I've been on YouTube a lot, learning what equipment to get. Uh, we mentioned last time out, uh, Quade Addison. I listened Quaid to I, I listened to a few of them. He has a good time. Yeah, and and he he knows these guys, and they yeah, know you, they you know can tell him. They're, they're on a really they, on a close, intimate right. level. There, there's some. Uh, I'm an old guy. I couldn't be broing down like that. There's some inside jokes there that uh, that I think that he does a really good job of playing off of. But um, he had a guest on just recently that uh, Michael Mode mentioned last last time out, and uh, so I went and listened to. Quaid's uh, podcast with Tom Mooney of uh, New Slang is the name of his podcast. Yeah. Dude is brilliant. Um, he is a, a journalist for Rolling Stone Country. 
He's been around for a while. He's got 79 episodes of this podcast. And he just, Sounds like I got homework. He's just smart. It, it, it any any conversation we have is it, his his is at a different level than what you, we would have. We, we're talking would have. some surface level rough gossip, probably right. at best. How's your mom? That kind of stuff. And, How's your mom and them? And he's talking uh, chord progressions and uh, oh yeah, all the and, technical and, stuff. And he's a journalist, so he writes more than he does the podcast. But the podcast, I've only listened to a couple episodes. It's fascinating. I can't wait to dig in. And, and oh, he's, kinda, he's, I like that. He's got a lot of the uh, Adam Hood. I listened to a little bit of that one. He's got a lot of the people that we know. And there's a lot of people that I don't know. That, that are, gets into the kind of the deeper stuff. Right. Yeah. That uh, really? that I'm really wanting to, to dig in. So, uh, And then having him as, an, as a uh, guest on Quaid's podcast really bridged the gap for me. Listening to Quaid talk to him and about the stuff that Quaid liked kind of led me to what it is I'm getting into. Yeah. So that's my, uh, my current inspiration for the podcast. I'm just, I like to listen to how other people interview. Yeah. Because to be quite honest, um, we're flying by the seat of our pants right now. Very much so. Um, I think we've had a big success the last, uh, four times out. I heard a, I heard a phrase today that I haven't heard in a while. Set yourself on fire and they'll come watch you burn. <laughs> um, I, I feel like, I feel like there, there may be some truth in some of that. Going look, on. And I'm look, okay I, with that. I have to say that I'm looking forward to having some guests that we don't know as well as the guests that we've had so far. Um, I, I am not <laughs> at all, but, but I'm looking to go forward that it, uh, yeah. Definitely yeah. wanting to go that way. I want to see how right. that goes. Your social media, do we? Man, so um, I don't go back and watch myself, much less, you know, what other people are doing. But, you know, the little bit that I do, especially through editing, you know, I was telling you earlier, you know, it, sometimes that's painful. As much as that pains me, um, I'm always interested in learning how to be better in doing this and doing the Tim Talks and that kind of stuff. It's really important to me that I think some of the things from my story about my life are fairly relevant to people mm -hmm. for whatever reason. And I want to make sure it's really important to me that I communicate that stuff. So I'm always interested in being a, a better communicator. Uh, probably one of the greatest communicators I, I have come across recently is a guy named Stephen Furtick. Mm -hmm. uh, he's actually, he's a, I guess you call it a mega church. He, he's a pastor at, um, at uh, Elevation Worship in North Carolina, South Carolina, something like that. Outside of just an incredible message, I, I, I think just the way he communicates, the consistency and, and, and some of the humor and just some of the straight in your face kind of, um, he's preaching without preaching. I like his deliveries. I like his timing. And uh, he's somebody that I, I spend a fair amount of time listening to and, and sometimes just not to emulate, but to try to backwards engineer. That just right. sounds really dumb. Right. But, no, no, I get it. But I to kind it. of backwards engineer some of how, how he stuffs, uh, puts his stuff together. So that's my cool. guy, Stephen Furry. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So that's uh, four. Uh, we'll do a, a wild card. There's somebody that I watch on a regular basis, not because I seek him out, because a lot of it's relevant to our overall goal of just, you know, being successful at something uh, is Gary V. Do you know who Gary V is? You've told me about him, and and he, I, I, I Melissa's some, over here nodding her head. Some like, yeah. topics I'm I'm on board with. I, th I think the last thing I think it's just a good excuse just to drop the f bomb sometimes. Yeah, and he's he's got some strong language. He doesn't care uh, what you think about what he says or how he says it. And that's cool. And he cuts to the chase quite often. One thing, one theme that I get out of him often is uh, it's usually your parents or your friends that are holding you back because they don't want you to be more successful than they are. And a lot of people are like, well, how do I do this? And he's like, well, why aren't you doing it? And it's usually because mom or dad don't want me to be a YouTube star or whatever. And he's like, why do they matter what you want to do? And it's just so liberating a lot, and and my wife is actually the one that turned me on to him. I'd seen some of his stuff, but uh, she uh, watches him as much as I do, and it, which is interesting because his language is really direct. But he got his start selling wine online, uh, and he's 
He's just mega successful in everything he does. He's going to own the New York Jets eventually. That's his goal. Uh, and he's, and he's going to do it. I don't have any doubt. Um, but he does basically social media. That That's what his business is now is, is doing, uh, talks around at different, uh, conferences and, and how, how to, uh, to stay ahead of the social media game. He, he taught me the 80, 20 rule is concentrate on the, the, uh, social media platform that you get 80% of your hits on and still concentrate on the other 20% so that when something does happen, when uh, something else new on the scene starts to rise and take over Facebook or YouTube, you're already in that door, yeah. uh, which is why we are on six different platforms. But even though nobody's seen us on LinkedIn, I don't think we've gotten but about four views. In, we're st- every post is on LinkedIn. Um, I didn't. I you you of, didn't I, even I, know we were on LinkedIn. I did not realize it. We we're on Instagram. We're on uh, Twitter. We're on YouTube. We're on Facebook. We're on what am I missing? Uh, we just kind of a toe hung in every door. Uh, yeah, Twitter. Yeah, we just and, and everything's posted. It's all linked to hellotexasusa.net. But I learned that from Gary that it doesn't matter if anybody sees it or not. Eventually, they might, and and you're there, and and you need to. Be there to find out if it works or not. Find out what works, find out what doesn't work, and adjust accordingly. Um, don't listen to other people uh, on what they think works. I mean, listen, but do it your way. That's kind of part of why I Blaze, don't watch what a lot of other people do. Blaze your own path. He's Again, it, it's a contrast to what you were probably just talking to. It's, it's, it's hard to listen to sometimes because he's brutal um, about how he puts it out there, but he's also so compassionate with, I've saw, I've, I've seen him talk to kids who are like, I'm in an abusive home relationship and I want to do this. I want, he goes, look, it sucks. You're just going to have to wait it out until you're old enough that you can leave. The, it's a, it's a, a plus minus game. And if you leave now, you're not never going to make yeah. it. So if you can ride it out until that point and you can become successful, do that. And, just his his uh, his perspective is a little bit different than the politically correct perspective, I think. And uh, yeah, and that's in a big contrast, that especially in a world so many yeah. people are looking for answers in in anywhere that somebody will will give them one, whether it's a good one or not. Right. You know uh, that there's there's an opportunity for somebody to be heard. Either. And when when somebody says they don't know how to make money, he'll go out uh, that day and, and videotape it and go out to garage sales and buy. Fifty dollars worth of crap, and turn it around and make four hundred dollars on that fifty dollars in two hours, and show that I just made three hundred fifty dollars by going to three garage sales, and I sold it on eBay or on Craigslist or on Facebook. Hustling right. somewhere, yeah. yeah and and your wild card, man. I, it's almost kind of an obvious one. Um, well, um, it this makes me that guy. God, period. Yeah, okay, it, it, <laughs> it, for, that's and that's just it. I I I, I can't get away from this at all um but without a doubt he, I, he is the ultimate creator and and there's times whenever i just i have a block by myself praying a bunch um and that's 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 sort of my tim talk a little bit it, it, that's where it ultimately I, I can watch a million other things but um just sometimes just what direction i should be going um that's usually who i turn to first and foremost and whatever happens from there is Usually becomes oh Lord help me, but it's a, a, yeah. that, that's totally legit. Yeah, I that, think, that, that's, that's as far uh, as if we're talking about artistic inspirations, uh, just just leaning in a lot of times. That's that's the one. That's always kind of well, at least that's how it's been a little bit, and that seems to be serving me pretty good. Yeah, um, I, I tell people I'm always good for a good parking place or. Uh, good seats when you go to a restaurant if you're with me and I tell people I'm blessed by the best no joke I've seen it happen <laughs> and I, I don't it, it seems a little weird sometimes but uh, good stuff is, it seems to be happening whenever you're around me you know and, and I mean there's always bad stuff that's going to happen but I, and, and I think that's yeah just I, I keep I, that inspiration it's been a fun journey yeah without yeah. a doubt I have so. well 
thank you to Melissa for being our uh, producer today and running the cameras and making sure the batteries are working and making sure that we're in focus. And I want to thank Michael Mode for making an appearance earlier uh, on the, what are we calling it? The fight, the argument, the Man, air, airing of the dirty laundry, the dirty laundry. So that's episode five in the books. Uh, Number five. Holy yeah. cow. And and it looks like we're kind of going to be on, on, on schedule. For the yeah. Most part. So we're back back on a schedule and uh, don't know what's going on for six. Don't know what's going on for seven, but uh, we've got plans. I, I, I'm, I'm leaving that part up to you, man. Um, but we're going to wrap it up. I'm Tim. I'm Steve. I'm Melissa. Bye, Texas. Bye, Texas.